Running for 19 years and considered one of the longest running series on TV, CBS's NCIS is still going strong. Since it has been airing for many years now, many fans and viewers are curious as to what happens behind the camera. If you're one of these curious souls, then you're in luck, because for today's episode, we'll be talking about NCIS Behind the Scenes Revealed, so keep on watching to know more. First up, there was bad blood between certain actors on set. Starting today's list of behind the scenes facts is something that came to light in recent years that gave fans quite a shock. We've all seen many actors play opposite characters that often butted heads with one another on screen, but off camera, they are the closest of friends. The opposite could happen in real life, where two characters could portray a good relationship on screen, but have a strained one in reality, such as the lead actor Mark Harmon and Pauly Perrette. Harmon has been portraying the role of NCIS supervisory agent Leroy Gibbs for more than a decade now, and has a pretty good relationship with the team's forensic specialist, Abby Sciuto, who is played by Perrette. However, when the show announced the actress's abrupt exit in 2018, she also revealed how she has struggled acting alongside Harmon for all these years. Perrette was part of the show for 15 years and is considered as one of the highest paid TV actresses of her time, but ultimately left the show because of her co-actor. She shared on Twitter how she's terrified of Harmon attacking her and that she has nightmares about it. On the other hand, Harmon has nothing but nice things to say about his co-actor's exit, but Perrette continued revealing bits and pieces of what her co-actor did to her, which included several physical assaults, which at first she tweeted vaguely about. Next, Mark Harmon forced Don Belisario off his own show. This wasn't the only issue Mark Harmon was involved in, since he was also part of a scandal that stated he forced the show's creator, Don Belisario, off the show. Don Belisario, the man behind NCIS, who created the show based on his experiences in the Marine Corps, was even forced to make an abrupt exit back in 2007. Usually, show creators leave shows to explore other projects, but in the case of Belisario, he got into heat debates about Harmon regularly over how the actor isn't fond of Belisario's management on set. Eventually, they reached a boiling point, and Harmon issued his ultimatum. Either he will leave the show, or they would fire Belisario. As the lead actor of the show, that glued it all together. CBS sided with the actor, which forced the creator off his own show, according to Looper's report. But it didn't end there. A few years later, NCIS decided to make a spin-off titled NCIS Los Angeles. But it was stated in Belisario's contract that he was given the rights to create any spin-off related to the original series. CBS didn't want Belisario involved, and instead tapped Shane Brennan to oversee the project. After getting wind of this, Belisario took legal actions and took the network to court, which ran back and forth for several years. Eventually, the case settled down, where people believed through the use of a handsome amount of money. Next up, Pauly Perrette took criminal science in grad school. As the show's forensic specialist, Abby Sciuto, you'd think Pauly Perrette was only acting, but unknown to many, the actress knows her stuff. Before committing full-time to the show, Perrette was pursuing criminal science in grad school and was only acting on the side. She planned to pursue the course professionally, but as fate had planned, she landed on a better gig. She only acted on the show so she could use it to pay off bills and make ends meet, but as it turns out, her role as Abby Sciuto became the most pivotal role of her career. Next, CBS got sued over Bert the Farting Hippo Puppet. Another interesting behind-the-scenes fact about the show is how CBS got sued because of Abby's plushie, Bert the Farting Hippo. The stuffed animal has become somewhat the unofficial official mascot of the crime show, and in 2014, the CBS store took the opportunity to profit off it by selling it on their online store. The lawsuit was filed in California federal court, wherein the broadcasting company allegedly violated copyright by selling the farting hippo puppet as part of their merchandise. The plaintiff is none other than Folkmanis Inc., the company behind Bert the Hippo, who made the first version of the puppet back in 2002. Several years later, they released a modified version in 2009, where shortly after they were contracted by CBS and co-defendant Delivery Agent, which operates the online CBS store. According to the lawsuit, CBS and DA had surmised that a hippo puppet would be a profitable product to offer for sale on the CBS store. They further continued, DA contacted Folkmanis and contracted to have a special edition of the Hippo 2 puppet made exclusively for DA and CBS. The special edition Hippo 2 puppet, Hippo 2.1, is identical to the Hippo 2 puppet with the addition of a spike choke collar and a sound box that emulates the sound of a fart. The copyrightable subject matter of the Hippo 2.1 puppet is identical to the copyrightable subject matter of the Hippo 2 puppet. Pauly Perrette also got in a feud with co-actor Cote de Pablo. Aside from Harmon, Perrette also got into a feud with her co-actress Cote de Pablo, at least not like the extreme case she had with Harmon. In NCIS, Pablo portrayed special agent Ziva David and made her appearance in season 3 back in 2005 after the death of special agent Caitlin Todd, Sasha Alexander. But in 2013, the Chilean 
American actress, announced her departure from the show, airing her dissatisfaction with how Ziva David's character is written. Perrette tweeted several praises about Pablo, where she expressed her love and support. But not a few moments later, Perrette was spotted wearing a shirt that read, I heart my job, and even tweeted, I love my job, hashtag NCIS. Fans said that Perrette is taking a jab at Pablo's exit, and before it escalated further, Pablo allegedly reached out to her co-actress to stop commenting on her exit, which fortunately de-escalated the situation. But why did Pablo want to leave NCIS in the first place? In a 2016 interview, Pablo shared how she chose to leave the show out of respect for her character. Unfortunately, because of political things and scripts not being good enough, I chose not to return to NCIS, Pablo revealed. Look, I love this character. I worked for eight years crafting Ziva, and when I felt the character wasn't being treated with the respect she deserved, they were going to send Ziva back to Israel and make her an unfortunate, miserable woman. Fortunately, her choice to make a stand bore fruition, since they wrote a better storyline for her character, which gave her a better conclusion in the end. Finally, last but not least, we have Mark Harmon's dog drama that put a dent in the relationship among the cast and crew. The event took place in 2016, wherein Harmon came on set with his dog in tow. According to several reports, an unidentified crew member played with the dog, and that quickly turned for the worst. The said crew member ended up needing 15 stitches, and despite this harrowing incident, Harmon continued to bring the dog on set, despite the cast and crew members' discomfort. Harmon's attorney, Barry Axelrod, had a different narrative, wherein he said the actor did bring the dog, but he made sure that the dog was on a leash and with him. Aside from that, he also said that the dog was usually left on Harmon's trailer, and not roaming freely until eventually he stopped bringing the animal altogether. Despite the crew's obvious discomfort, they didn't have the guts to call out the actor, who also serves as the show's executive producer, and it was only Polly Perrette who had the guts to voice out her thoughts. And from there, their relationship turned for the worse. The Wrap reported that because of their disagreement, the production team made the arrangements wherein the two never had to film in the same location. She did her scenes on one day, and he did his work on other days, and they still produced a great show, the source from the rap claimed. It was simply scheduled so that they did not have to work on the same days. The shooting arrangement also explains why the two actors' characters have fewer scenes in the latter seasons of the series. During her farewell episode, Abby didn't even bid her goodbye to Gibbs, but sources claim that Perrette decided to leave NCIS way before the dogbiting incident happened. And with that, we're wrapping up today's episode about the NCIS behind-the-scenes secrets fans didn't know about. It has three spin-offs, namely NCIS Los Angeles, NCIS New Orleans, and NCIS Hawaii, of which the last one was given a full season order last October 2021. Have you watched any of the series spin-offs? Let us know in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.